break with www.lawmanguitars.com. I've got a really, really cool guitar for you today, but I want to start out by saying this guitar was requested to be demoed by Emil from Brazil. Yes, I get people from Brazil looking at my stuff on uh, lawmanguitars.com. And Emil sent me a uh, uh, text and he said, hey, lawman, how about uh, demoing that Supro Ranchero? He says, that thing is awesome. I'd love to hear how it sounds. So Emil, this one is for you. This guitar is really, really cool. It's a 1956 full-bodied uh, guitar. Uh, it's got a full arch top. It's got a faux uh, tiger stripe finish in it. Uh, I believe these are spruce. Uh, and uh, actually, you know what, I think it's a spruce overlay uh, on this particular guitar. And what they did is they did this faux finish on them. They, uh, they created this tiger stripe that runs through the sides, the back, and also the top in this uh, really cool uh, vintage uh, gold or amber color that uh, I think was whiter when they first came out. And then they, uh, they become a little more amber over the years. And it just, it's so cool looking. And uh, it, at first, when I first saw it, this body is so big, I thought it might have been a short scale guitar, but it's not. It's a 24 and a half inch scale neck so it's standard uh, but I'll tell you it is one cool guitar and original from head to toe it's got the original bridge it's got the original uh, original knobs it's got the original tailpiece it's even got the ranchero pick guard I mean those are always gone and usually you see if anything on these you see reproductions which they're making uh, this is the original that says ranchero on it and of course we can't say enough about the Valco single coil pickups a lot of people think these are humbuckers those are not those are single coils made right out of Chicago Illinois where this guitar was made uh, by the Valco people and anybody who knows these Valco single coils love them. Uh, I've seen people taking these out and putting them in all kinds of different guitars to try to uh, uh, beef their guitars up. I mean these pickups are just really really well uh, respected pickups and they're very full and fat. I'll play it here for you in just a minute and you can uh, hear how it sounds. But great great pickups. The neck is dead straight. It plays terrific. Uh, there's a little bit of bumps on the back probably from stands or something. It does have the uh, uh, tulip uh, knobs, which you saw on some of the higher end uh, Supros and National guitars, they're Cluson uh, tuners and they're no line, which means they don't say Cluson on them, which dates them also to the 50s. And then we know this is a 1956 because there is an X6 uh, date stamp plate uh, for serial number on the back. That's how we were able to date these. Uh, the only thing that, uh, well, actually this is original too. It's got the, uh, the neck. Uh, uh, bracket back here a lot of people think that you can adjust the necks back here they don't they're they're just basically some reinforcement uh, so they are uh, really 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 cool guitars these pickups actually attach to the neck and I said something wrong these do uh, actually adjust you can see it in here you take this little plate off in the back and uh, your uh, tech can actually by tightening and loosening the screws make the neck move so they're really easy to set up and of course Jeff the Tech did a fantastic job on this guitar and he just made it play wonderfully the the neck has got a nice round C uh, it's not what I would call a uh, fat neck uh, but is definitely a little bit more than a medium neck uh, it's not real wide uh, but it, it's it's got some beef to it when you grab the neck it's like you know you've got a guitar in your hands uh, some of these uh, guitars are just so thin and small that it's like you know where do I put my hands this guitar feels really good in the hand and that's that's what I really liked about it one pickup like this you don't need two or three one is plenty Yep, it reaches all the frets. The frets on this are original. They've not been replaced. Uh, there's a little bit of finger dibbing right uh, 
divoting right up here in the top uh, cowboy cord area. The frets still have plenty of life in them. Uh, if you're a pro player, you'll probably end up replacing them at some point in time, but if you're not a pro player, these will last you at least two more lifetimes. Uh, unless you're playing this every day, these uh, uh, fret frets will last forever. Uh, it has uh, the Supro plate, uh, the metal plate on the top, uh, like we had talked about, the, uh, the bridge is all here and original. Uh, this is just one outstanding guitar. Um, the, boy, the top is, is still nicely arched, there is no flattening in there whatsoever. Uh, the back has a few dings in it, uh, but again it has this beautiful faux tiger stripe on it. Uh, the back of course is, uh, is a flat or a, a shiny black. And uh, you know, there's just there's no problems. A lot of these, the uh, 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 input jack has uh, been broken. Uh, there is a little plate on it, so it's possible that it might have cracked just slightly. If you step on the cord and turn, of course, it's going to uh, crack on you. But usually, if it was bad, it would have run all the way down the sides. This just has a little plate on it, so I I don't remember there being any uh, problem under there. But it could be a slight crack or maybe a little uh, indentation in there. But uh, yeah, strap buttons, everything. The guitar is just absolutely cool. It's original. This guitar is just a blast to play. It sounds great. It looks great. It's really a cool guitar. Uh, Emil, yes, I'll ship it to you in Brazil if you have to have it so uh, we can get it down there to you. I don't have the original case. I want to point that out right away, but I do have a proper fitting hard shell case uh, that's really a nice shape. It's a, a Canadian case, so it's probably a TKL. Got really nice green uh, uh, plush in it. The accessory box is still here. Uh, it's a little bit longer uh, than it needs to be for the guitar. There's some room up here in the head, but it fits the body. It's such a big uh, fat body. It was hard to come up with a case for it, and I certainly did not want to ship that guitar without a nice fitting hard shell case. So we've got this really cool case, and we have a really neat 1956 Supro uh, Archtop Ranchero for you today, and it is just awesome. Uh, we've had it here in the shop now for just a little while. I'm sure someone is going to see this uh, demo and uh, be all over it. Uh, but check it out at uh, www.lawmanguitars.com where we've just redone our website. It's really cool. We're sh uh, showing a lot of guitars in there now. So you can uh, not only see cool guitars, but you can see all the demos. You can buy guitars there. I got strings. I got all kinds of stuff that you can do in there. And while you're there, why don't you sign up for our newsletter? Uh, I've just got a ton of people that have requested the newsletter. We just sent our first one out last month and uh, we'll be starting to get them out on a more regular basis uh, once I figure out how to do it a little better. Uh, we'll be able to uh, send some more of those out. But we want to communicate with you uh, and answer questions and show you lots of cool guitars. So check it all out at www.lawmanguitars.com. We only show cool and vintage guitars. Thanks a lot for watching this demo today.